Howdy gang, and welcome to another Bad Players WoW Vlog snippet. My name is Daniel Gagne, aka Rialthus Killdog, aka Bad Player 03. Why am I not reading right now? And what does this mean for the future of WoW in general? Is this a sign of problems and maybe potentially bad things to come? Are you raiding in a regular group right now? And if not, have you asked yourself the same question? Anyways, uh, no smoke and mirrors tonight. I because uh, of the I have a very serious topic to discuss. If you guys want smoke and mirrors, uh, see my last uh, vlog snippet. Uh, in fact, I'm actually kind of hurt. I uh, put that out almost 24 hours ago, and I've only had 20 people view that. Whereas my previous vlog snippet's almost at 700 views. So. Yeah, I have lots of fun stuff for you. I address the topic of um, of uh, the uh, the LFR, uh, you know, people who are saying the LFR needs to go away. Uh, also, uh, advice for people who would love to see a uh, a classic server like uh, Vanilla or or BC. Uh, and like I said, some fun stuff. So please check that out, especially if you guys like the the fun side of some of my vlogs, because this one's a little more serious. So why am I not reading right now? And by that, I don't mean tonight. It's late. Uh, it, 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 nighttime is when I do most of my, uh, my work of this nature. Um, in fact, in the East, it's very late. People who are reading right now are at the end of their, uh, end of their night trying to do those last couple pulls on the boss at best uh, before they uh, you know, fall asleep at the keyboard, maybe before they call it a night. Or, or maybe they're on some, some you know, nighttime, all night long read uh, things, although they seem to be quite the anomaly these days. But no, I, I mean in general, why am I not part of a raiding team? And, and more of a concern is why am I not hungry to be on a raiding team? Um, like, I gotta tell you a secret about me. I'm not really as bad of a player or as casual a player as as I pretend to be, um, or, or, or as I've been in this Pandaria. Uh, in, in fact, in Wrath of the Lich King, when I got my gear out of the, out of the dungeons there, I, I was hungry starving in fact to, to get into a raid environment and I was practically begging my, my raid leader uh, a man I still uh, still had a very high regard for um, to, to let me into the team and you know, he made me pay my dues before I got on but I had my time and I was able to to do my ICC and I loved it I, I fell in love with it killed every boss but the Lich King in, in the tier and, and I would then take, take the time to run 25 man pugs whenever I could to try to get my extra frost token so that I could gear up even that much better because I had a passion and a hunger for it and it was what I wanted to do or at least I thought back then and uh, and, and even in, in in Cataclysm you know uh, you know it took me a while to get started but but I know once I was reading I, I was uh, you know I I really liked starting off with the new uh, with the new con and I didn't do a lot of Firelands although I did a little of that once my my guild team was starting to, uh, you know, get far into it. I kind of joined in and helped fill a hole for a while there. But then, when Dragon Soul launched, and once I had geared up from the the LFR reduce at that time, I, I was loving it. I was trying to to clear it on every tune, and, and I did manage to clear it on on all four of my my tunes. Um, and I you know it was, it was great. It was exciting. I, I it, it drove and then sort of drag on, of course, near the end of it, but. But yeah, I killed, uh, got to kill Deathwing multiple times on, on all four of my characters, and, and I really still had a passion for it. Despite the fact, you know, that I did you know, a little bit of LFR, obviously, at, at near the end of Cataclysm. I, I was doing it more for, for Valor to try to make, make gold and that sort of thing. But, but it's been a very different experience in Mr. Pandaria. I've never raided this little in, in, uh, in a raid tier since I started playing WoW. And I, you know, I got in, I've been doing the LFR faithfully, and I've, uh, Went on to a team for a while, and we finally, recently, and went back and cleared Mogushan vaults, and you know, ha almost half of Heart of Fear. But now that uh, my teams have have kind of broken up and are in a bit of a hiatus, shouldn't I be missing that? Shouldn't I be seeking out another team, hungry, wanting to find another team and, and get through that content and get on to 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 the the Throne of Thunder and that sort of thing? I don't know. I I think I should, but I don't feel that same fire and passion. And I'm wondering. I was starting to think, why? What does this mean? Why am I not reading right now? And I think the problem was that I've been I've been running the LFR 
faithfully, repetitively, since December, I guess, of, of last year when it was introduced. And I really didn't stop week after week. And then I added it on two tunes, and I was doing it on three, and then I'll recently on four. And I did it again and again. And, of course, then the, the new new LFR was released, and I got started on that. I started to realize that I spent a lot of hours doing LFR reading, trying to get that gear set, and I'm I'm tired. I, I, I am feeling kind of burnt out to the point where now that I don't have a regular raid team, I'm not missing it. I'm actually enjoying the free time and, and actually more interested in, in, in talking to you guys than I am in reading. But am I the only one in this position? It seems to me like my server is not doing a lot of raiding either. That It's been a very, very quiet, gloomy raiding scene on on all the servers I've seen. I'm sure there are some servers that are doing very well and have a lot of have a huge bustling uh, raid scene going, but I haven't seen that on, on my server. And I'm starting to wonder if maybe some of these posts I'm seeing on the forums about the LFR being detrimental to raiding might actually be have some merits to them. I mean, it's I still love our LFR. I still you know fight to defend it. I'm still passionate about it. But maybe there's still a downside to the current form of the LFR. And really, why have I been running it nonstop since it first came out? Well, that's what it took me to get all my gear upgrades for my my two specs on some tunes and at least one spec on, on all my other tunes. As long as there's upgrades to gain from the LFR, I still feel some compulsion to run it every week. And I know Blizzard Dancer is that the LFR is designed to keep casuals busy and wrapped up for, for the course of the tier, but is that really a good thing for, for raiding? Uh, obviously, for the casual who will be doing nothing else if it wasn't for the LFR, maybe that might not be a big deal. Cause maybe they'll never raid. Maybe they'll never want to raid. But what about players like myself that would have always been raiding, should have been raiding, just maybe aren't because of the LFR it takes someone so much time, so much dedication, and at the same time seems to fulfill the need to, to character progress and to build my gear up. So why was it not this way in Cataclysm? Well, in Cataclysm, I was able to kind of skew the LFR loot in my favor. I was able to run with groups and look and see how many classes I was competing against for loot. And if I thought that the odds were against me, I would just leave and, and get another group, one that, that gave me very little competition. And in actual fact, I was able to gear up probably in about two months on a tune in the LFR, or, or less even, in, in, in Cataclysm. With this new loot system in Mists of Pandaria, it just hasn't been that way. To get four or eight pieces set pieces, or, or the ten as I usually try to seek after on a on a two spec tune, it's taken me till the last couple of weeks to get there. With even with all the new charms and all the new things, uh, you know, the new catch up mechanisms that Blizzard has introduced to help us get it faster with the launch of the new patch, I still don't have every piece of gear I'd like to get out of the LFR on, on all my tunes. And that's a, an exhausting thought. And now as I look towards the throne of thunder, which I still really only scratched the surface on I'm just tired at the thought of having to go through that all over again. Spend another four or five months raiding the same wimpy bosses, clearing them all every week, hoping beyond hope that I might get that next, you know, a few, you know, a few pieces of gear and, and being disappointed when I don't. Maybe this wizard system of trying to draw the LFR out four or five months through, you know, a really low drop rate of gear is actually detrimental to what they should be trying to do. Maybe their goal should be to make the LFR a good solid, you know, two months, maybe two and a half months of raiding experience to help gear up the casual player, and then they can dangle the next carrot. Rather than trying to dangle that same carrot of get the rest of your loot, dangle the next carrot of, you know, if you go into regular raiding, there's something more you can gain, you can, a chance to grow as a player and get to the next level. And that's what it was like in Cataclysm. After I had finished with my LFR gearing, I had a hunger again to go after regular raiding and try to use the gear set that I had built to... Take it to the next level. And that's really missing in, in, in Miss of Pandaria because I still haven't got my gear set that I kind of pride myself on getting. And I can still run the LFR ad nauseum week in and week out and never even need to think about doing anything else in WoW. Maybe this business of making the LFR casual, content that wraps up the casual for the entire tier is actually detrimental to players who would otherwise maybe feel that hunger again and reach out and try to do more complex rating. Maybe Blizzard needs to start thinking about the the uh, maybe that borderline player more and saying, you know, what's more dangerous? Having a casual player who runs the LFR for two months, gets all their gear and says, you know what, I'm done. Ha, ah, great. And take the rest of the, t the, the tier off. 
quits and doesn't come back and maybe they lose a subscription for a few months or if they exhaust the, the player that would be a borderline raider that maybe would be you know a low level regular raider to the point where he doesn't want to do that anymore and then the, the guilds that need those players to actually fill their, their 10 and 25 man groups are saying we can't find any raiders we've got these 8 guys that want to raid or these 9 guys or, or, or these 20 plus guys that want to raid and we can't fill those last few spots because there's just no borderline up and coming raiders that are trying to get to that level Maybe that's the overall detriment to the new loot system, Missa Pandaria. Maybe Blizzard just needs to make, needs to bite the bullet. I know they've been fighting us and, and they've been saying, oh, if you get it up quickly, you'd quit, you'd quit playing the game and you wouldn't run the LFR anymore and then that would really suck. Maybe Blizzard needs to say, maybe that was the wrong decision and make the LFR a way for a casual player to gear up a little quicker, maybe in two months and feel confident at least that they have a gear set that's competitive. So the, and, and then dangle the carrot of what's the next step for you. Maybe you need to find a new team. And there's ways to find raid teams right now. If you can't, if you're not, uh, you know, confident with your skills enough to, uh, you know, to raid or to find a guild that, you know, that's maybe a higher end raiding guild. There's looking for raid, an awesome website where you can actually sign up to people who are starting for pugs to run the last tier of raids cross server. I mean, think of all the runs that that people could be having with all the servers in, in, uh, in WoW with an organized system like, like looking for raid. And yet, maybe we're just too exhausted because the, the, the LFR takes all that, that we have and, and really gives all that we need to the point where we can say, you know what, I could raid right now. I don't want to. Why? I'm tired. I've done my share of raiding for the week. You know, even if you only raid on one tune, but especially if you raid on two or more tunes like myself, Let's see the game from multiple angles. The LFR still can be awfully exhausting, even though it's it's boring, repetitive, and, and and relatively mindless. Still takes time, energy, waiting in queues. In fact, maybe more so than anything else in the game. Maybe it's time Blizzard just says, you know what? Let's reward the players that do it, and use it for as a way to gear up in a decent pace so they can move on to more complex rating. And the players who will do it and walk away, so be it. That's going to happen no matter what you do. You can't drag out... You only drag out a, 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 a simple thing so much before it becomes a really crappy single thing that's, that's drug out too long <laughs> or spread out way too thin. So yeah, I'd like Blizzard to maybe revisit the idea that the LFR needs to to keep uh, people dangled at, at the tip of the carrot for, for their LFR gear set for the entire tier and say, let's, let's look at it on a longer term, bigger picture and make it, you know, a shorter term run. And really, does the LFR need to be, uh, be all about gear? And that's it. And uh, it doesn't really have to be, because there's, for the most casual players, it's still fun sometimes. And maybe even once they get the full set of gear, if they just don't feel like really reading or stretching themselves or pushing themselves, maybe they'll just run the LFR for the fun of it again. And not feel like there still has to be always something to gain from it. You know, maybe they're just bored. They want to just run the LFR and do some reading and then, that's the end of their week, and then look towards the next week. So, yeah, Blizzard, uh, I really think you should revisit that. I think you might have made a mistake in the idea that you have with the, with the current loot system. I'm not saying give free loot, but I'm saying give free loot because in doing so, you might actually get that that borderline raider raiding again and hungering and wanting to see more content and to stretch themselves because maybe the LFR doesn't fulfill their entire need for, for raid content, and that's the way it should be, I think. LFR or World of Warcraft should has to always be about raiding because if they kill that, will World of Warcraft ever be the same again? I don't think so. So anyway, sorry for this long-winded snippet. It's almost like a full vlog, but I'm I'm going to wrap it up now. But but yeah, I think that's a really important topic that we're we're facing right now, and I think that as time goes on, we're going to see more and more boredom, uh, despair, decline in subscriptions as we lose more and more of those borderline players to the LFR the monotony of the LFR and the realization that I could just do this for four months, five months, get my gear, and, and that's that's playing WoW. And really, it shouldn't be. It should be, I get my gear, I complete this level, and I move on to the next level, or I stretch myself, or and if I don't, I'm going to get bored. So I want to stretch myself. I think that's the way WoW should be, and that's the way WoW will be the most healthy. Anyways, any thoughts? Uh, once again, I'm uh, Real the Skill Dog, Bad Player 3 You can follow me on Twitter at uh, my... 
Bad Player 03, uh, capital B, capital P, under the account Daniel Gagne. You can also uh, view all these videos on my YouTube channel, which is also under Bad Player 03. And you can send me an email at badplayer03 at gmail.com. Look forward to seeing you. Bye now.